Saab's first aerostructures plant outside of Sweden for the new Gripen EF fighter, in São Bernardo do Campo, Brazil, reaches another important milestone with the start of production. This site builds sections of Gripen, which will then be delivered to the final assembly facilities at the Embraer plant in Gavial Pixoto, São Paulo, Brazil, and to Saab in Linköping, Sweden. In 2014, Saab signed a contract with the Brazilian government for the development and production of 36 Gripen EF aircraft. In September last year, the first Brazilian Gripen E aircraft was delivered to start the flight test program. Now, another milestone is reached, as Gripen production starts at Saab's site in São Bernardo do Campo, in São Paulo in Brazil. The tail cone and front fuselage of the single-seat version of the Gripen fighter are the first aerostructures to enter into production at Saab's site in São Paulo. Subsequently, the aerodynamic brakes, rear fuselage, wing box, and front fuselage for the two-seater version will also be manufactured there. This is another outcome of the transfer of technology taught, of the Gripen program. Based on theoretical and practical on-the-job training of Brazilian engineers and assemblers at our Linchirping site, we were able to establish a highly qualified production line in our production site in São Bernardo do Campo, following the same standards that we have in our factory in Sweden, says Jonas Hagelm, head of Saab's business area aeronautics. Currently, Saab has more than 70 highly qualified employees present at the site in São Bernardo do Campo, half of whom are participating or have already participated in the top program in Sweden. Part of these employees have already completed the training and returned to initiate the production in Brazil. Brazil has officially begun manufacturing fighter jets with the start of production at a new facility that makes sections of the Saab Gripen, Swedish aerospace company Saab announced Tuesday. Saab Aeronautica Montagens, a new manufacturing plant located near Sao Paulo, has begun producing Gripen EF aerostructures, including the tail cone and front fuselage for the single-seat Gripen E version of the jet. It will eventually also make the brakes, rear fuselage, wing box, and front fuselage for the two-seater F model, Saab stated. Those structures will then undergo final assembly at Embraer's nearby plant in Sao Paulo and Saab's main Gripen production hub in Linköping, Sweden. Saab won a contract with Brazil in 2014 for 36 Gripen EF aircraft after a hard-fought competition that included Boeing's F.A-18 Super Hornet, the Dassault Rafale, and the Eurofighter Typhoon. Technology transfer was a major requirement for all proposals. Saab's new aerostructures plant in Brazil has employed more than 70 workers, half of which will receive training in Sweden. Some workers have already returned from that program and have used their training to launch production activities in Brazil, Saab stated. Based on theoretical and practical on-the-job training of Brazilian engineers and assemblers at Saab in Linköping, we were able to establish a highly qualified production line at SAM, following the same standards that we have in our factory in Sweden, says Jonas Hagelm, head of Saab's aeronautics business area. In 2018, Saab unveiled the Brazilian Aerostructures facility, which will eventually accommodate up to 200 employees in 2024. Over the recent course of history, there is little doubt that the United States has been the pioneer in exporting the finest range of fighter aircraft on the planet, with manufacturers like Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman blending innovative aerodynamic designs with futuristic features in combat warplanes.
However, barring few nations not everyone has the financial capacity to bring in fifth-generation fighters like that of the F-35s and the F-22 Raptors, with their option only being settling for a fighter jet which fits the pockets and gives them an attacking prowess which they need in the air. Saab's JAS-39 is that fighter. The Gripen fighters are considered to be the Swedish defense industry's largest export in financial terms, with the fighters having an immense success rate in replacing aging fighter fleets of former Warsaw Pact countries as well have also been sold in the Americas, Africa, and Asia. Defense writer, Charlie Gao, while writing for the national interest, highlights how the affordability of the Gripens acts in their favor for post-Soviet states. The primary European export success for the Gripen is in post-Soviet states. Other European nations either field their own modern jets like the Eurofighter Typhoon, or procured American aircraft such as the F-16 prior to the fall of the Warsaw Pact, and thus are not really in need of a new jet although the Gripen Ing might fill a niche here. Most post-Soviet states including the likes of Poland, Hungary, Czechia, Slovakia, and Bulgaria have operated the fourth-generation MiG-29s, however, due to the Russian fighter becoming obsolete quickly due to the advent of other modern fighters there was an urgent need for replacements. The first ones out of these to find a ready replacement for the MiG-29s were the Hungarian Air Force who acquired the Gripens in 2003, with Czechia following the same in 2005. Two years ago, Slovakia also decided to take the decision to replace their fighters, with Gripens or the USF-16 in the fray, however, it is likely that they might opt for the Swedish fighters due to the higher cost of the F-16s. Bulgaria is also weighing its options with the Gripens in the running with the Eurofighter Typhoons and the USF A18 Hornets. On the other hand, due to their close diplomatic ties with the US, Poland might actually end up procuring F16s over the Gripens. Moreover, it makes sense for smaller nations that have a tight budget to opt for the Gripens as due to a smaller patrol area there to be covered by the fighter, there is no need to shell out massive sums on an aircraft with a dual-engine design. If pitted against other fighters under a similar generation bracket, the Gripens are clearly the winners in economic terms with the Swedish combat planes cheaper to fly. Probably one of the largest factors for Gripen adoption is the very low flight hour cost. Gripens were rated by Jane's to have a cost of around $4,700 per flight hour. <laughs>